can you share with us how your own faith would influence you as president? God, thank you for that question. So I, I just want to say up front that I'm a person that often says that before you tell me about your religion, show it to me in how you treat other people. Uh, I, I was raised in a church where my mom taught Sunday school, and I'll never forget learning that verse that faith without works is dead. And, and I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm in church right now. <laughs> and so... So thank you for asking me about my faith. You asked and I will share. The foundation of my life was a raising with a faith in God. Uh, but I was taught that faith demands first and foremost humility before God. That you look at your brother and sister, regardless of their faith, regardless of their background, with a conviction of love. Love thy neighbor. And love is not easy. And it really bothers me that when folks think that being loving or kind, I tell you, to be strong, you don't need to be cruel. To be tough, you don't need to be mean. And so, Christ is the center of my life. I believe in that radical love of all people. I believe that the Bible talks more about poverty, about greeting the stranger, about being there for the convicted, far more than it talks about the kind of toxic stuff you often hear the president spewing out there. And our immigration policy violates not only American values, but the values of our faith traditions. Can I quote some Hebrew to you? Because I studied the Torah too. There's a, there's a song sung during the high holidays, Ki Beiti Beit Tefila Lechol Chomim. May my house be a house of prayer for many nations. We are the United States of America. We were not formed as a theocracy. We were formed on the ideal that many of us in our diversity can come together and create one strong whole, e pluribus unum. And if I am president of the United States, I will fight every day to put more indivisible into this one nation under God.